Hey everyone! Welcome back to History of Simple Things. Have you ever wondered why those massive trucks on the highway have so many wheels? I mean, why exactly 18? Why not 12, 16, or even 20? Well, today we're diving into the world of trucks to find out why 18-wheelers need 18 wheels and why these giants of the road are designed the way they are. Right here on History of Simple Things. First off, let's break it down. An 18-wheeler is a combination of two main parts, the tractor, or cab, and the trailer. The tractor is where the engine, driver's seat, and steering mechanisms are, while the trailer is the cargo holding part. Together, they make up what's commonly known as a semi-truck or big rig. Now, about those wheels, Typically, an 18-wheeler has three axles on the tractor and two or more on the trailer. Each axle can hold a set of two wheels on each side, giving us that grand total of 18 wheels. But why exactly do they need so many? One of the biggest reasons for having 18 wheels is weight distribution. Trucks carry extremely heavy loads, often up to 80,000 pounds in the U.S., if all that weight were concentrated on just a few wheels, the tires would wear out quickly and the roads would take a beating. By spreading the weight over multiple axles and wheels, trucks can travel longer distances safely without putting excessive strain on the tires or the road. Think of it like walking on thin ice. If you wear regular shoes, you might fall through. But if you wear snowshoes, your weight is spread out, making it easier to stay on top. That's exactly what extra wheels do for big trucks. They distribute the weight, making them safer and more efficient. More wheels also mean better traction and stability. Trucks travel on all sorts of roads, from smooth highways to rough and uneven surfaces. With 18 wheels on the ground, they have better grip, which helps them maintain control especially in bad weather conditions like rain, snow, or ice. Another key reason for having so many wheels is redundancy. Tires don't last forever, and blowouts can happen, especially when traveling thousands of miles. If a regular car loses a tire, it's a big problem. But for an 18-wheeler, losing one tire isn't as catastrophic because the other wheels help keep the truck stable and moving until it can be repaired. This built-in backup system is crucial for long-haul trucking, where breakdowns can happen in the middle of nowhere. It's a way to ensure that the truck can still make it to a safe spot instead of being stranded on the highway. Braking is another reason why 18-wheelers need so many wheels. A truck that weighs tens of thousands of pounds can't stop on a dime like a regular car. More wheels mean more brake power, helping these massive vehicles come to a stop safely. Each set of wheels is equipped with brakes, which distribute the braking force evenly. This prevents overheating and excessive wear on just one set of brakes, making it safer for both the truck driver and everyone else on the road. More wheels also mean longer-lasting tires. If a truck had fewer wheels, the tires would wear out much faster due to the sheer amount of weight and pressure. By spreading out the load, each tire takes on less stress, increasing its lifespan and reducing the frequency of replacements. Truck tires are expensive, and replacing them often would be a huge financial burden for trucking companies. So, having 18 wheels is actually a cost-effective solution that keeps trucks running efficiently. Another factor to consider is fuel efficiency. While adding wheels improves weight distribution and safety, there's a trade-off. More wheels create more rolling resistance, which slightly reduces fuel economy. However, truck manufacturers design the axles and wheels strategically to minimize unnecessary drag and keep fuel consumption as efficient as possible. 
Many modern trucks also use advanced tire pressure monitoring systems to ensure that each wheel is inflated to the optimal level. Proper inflation reduces unnecessary resistance and helps maximize miles per gallon, saving both money and fuel. Road infrastructure plays a big role in determining the number of wheels on a truck. Highways and bridges have weight limits that trucks must comply with, and 18-wheelers are designed to distribute their loads in a way that meets these regulations. Too few wheels would result in excessive pressure on roads, causing damage, while too many would make the truck unnecessarily heavy. In some cases, specialized trucks, like those used to transport oversized loads, may have more than 18 wheels to comply with weight regulations. These superload trucks are designed for specific purposes, such as carrying construction equipment, industrial machinery, or other exceptionally heavy cargo. Now you are maybe asking, why stop at 18 wheels? Why not add more for even better stability? Well, at a certain point, adding extra wheels becomes unnecessary and inefficient. More wheels mean more weight which affects fuel efficiency. Plus, roads and bridges are designed to handle specific weight limits, and 18 wheels provide the best balance between load capacity, safety, and efficiency. Adding too many wheels could also make the truck harder to maneuver, especially in tight spaces or on winding roads. On the other hand, using fewer wheels would lead to excessive wear and tear on the tires, poor weight distribution, and increased braking distance, which would make the truck more dangerous to operate. So, there you have it. 18-wheelers have 18 wheels for very practical reasons. Weight distribution, safety, traction, backup in case of blowouts, better braking, longer tire life, and fuel saver. It's all about efficiency, and making sure these massive machines can transport goods safely across long distances. So, next time you see an 18-wheeler on the road, you'll know exactly why it has so many wheels. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for a next video, feel free to share in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.